The NFL world is abuzz with the latest developments surrounding Cincinnati Bengals star wide receiver, Jamar Chase. According to a recent report by ESPN's Adam Schefter, Chase has made it clear that he has no plans to negotiate a long-term contract extension with the Bengals for the remainder of this season. This decision stems from Chase's belief that the team misled him regarding contract talks during the offseason. Chase, who remains under contract with the Bengals through the 2025 season thanks to a $21.8 million club option exercised by the team, had expected a new extension after being assured by the Bengals management. Schefter revealed that at the end of last season and again during the offseason, Chase was led to believe that a contract extension was imminent, a promise that has yet to materialize. This has led to Chase's current stance, where he has opted to take a $50 million insurance policy on himself as a protective measure. This move is seen as a way for Chase to fortify his position and underscore the seriousness of his discontent. Compounding the situation, the Bengals reportedly extended a four-year, $140 million offer to Chase before their season opener against the New England Patriots. This deal would have matched the average annual value of the NFL's highest paid receiver, Minnesota Vikings' Justin Jefferson. Although the raw figures of the deal were appealing to Chase, he took issue with the structure and timing of the guarantees, which led to the deal not progressing. Schefter's report also highlights a broader pattern in Bengals' history. The team has not granted any player an extension during the season since they signed offensive tackle Andrew Whitworth to a one-year deal back in 2015. This history might explain why the Bengals have been hesitant to address Chaser's contract demands during the current season. Despite the ongoing contract drama, Chase has confirmed that he will fulfill his commitment to play for the Bengals in the 2024 season. He showcased his abilities in the season opener with six catches for 62 yards, demonstrating his readiness to contribute on the field. For fans and analysts alike, this situation raises intriguing questions about Chase's future with the Bengals. The star receiver's decision to halt negotiations during the season suggests significant friction between him and the team's front office. While Chase's future with Cincinnati remains uncertain, the Bengals' star players' actions are sure to be closely watched as the season progresses. For teams like the New England Patriots, who have been actively seeking top-tier pass catchers, this development could potentially open doors for future discussions. Stay subscribed for more videos.